subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be one of the first persons to know whenever we drop a new video now let's take you straight up to the main news stop parading suspects before the media says the lagos state house of assembly a new bill is about to be passed into law in lagos state which will stop the police from parading suspects before the media and giving them media trial a part of the new bill reads as from the commencement of the law, the police shall refrain from parading any suspect before the media. The Lagos State House of Assembly in a sitting has passed a bill that will stop the parading of suspects before uh, media by the police. The bill was passed in a sitting led by the Deputy Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Wasiu Eshiloku Sani, representing Lagos Island 1 constituency, who represented the Speaker of the House of Assembly, Mudashiru Obasa, who is representing Agege 1 And subsequently, the bill has been forwarded to the Lagos State Government for his signature. When the Lagos State Government signs this bill into law, it will stop the police from parading suspects before the media and it will refrain the police from arresting anyone without a warrant. The bill, when passed into law, will also stop the police from its common practice of arresting anyone related to somebody involved in a criminal matter in the absence of the real suspect. The bill also states that the human rights of suspects will be respected and they will be given humane treatment and will not be subjected to any form of torture, cruel, inhumane or degrading treatment and also their dignity of person would be respected the bill also states that the only condition where the police can arrest a person without warrant is if the person is reasonably suspected to be unlawfully in possession of dangerous instruments or firearms that is to say the police cannot walk up to you when this bill is passed into law and just arrest you without any evidence or any warrant. Another aspect of the bill is that persons who are arrested would be given reasonable facilities so that they can obtain legal advice, bail, or make arrangements for defense or release as the case may be. The bill has since been transferred by the clerk of the house to the Lagos state governor Babajide Shanwolu for his signature and many are hoping that Babajide Shanwolu will sign this bill into law so as to stop the harassment of uh, suspects before the media. Now the parading of suspects before the media has become a very big issue and a big point of debate in Nigeria following the fact that many human rights as, uh, uh, activists, civil society organizations and even lawyers have said that an end should be put to the practice of subjecting suspects to media trial as it does not protect the human rights of the suspects. One of the foremost human rights activists in Nigeria, Femi Falani, who is a senior advocate of Nigeria, has sued the police the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission (EFCC) and the Attorney General of the Federation over the media parade of suspects. He said in a suit which was titled FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 519 slash 19 in 2019 that the pre-trial uh, media parade of criminal suspects by security and anti-corruption agencies in Nigeria is illegal and unconstitutional. He also said that it is a violation 
of Section 36, Subsection 5 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, and also Article 7 of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights Act, Ratification and Enforcement, and also the CAPS A9 Laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 2004. Mr. Femi Falani Sans also said that media trials are usually held for suspects who are presumed to be poor. In his statement, he said, You don't parade the big men, you don't parade politically exposed persons, you only parade the poor. And he said, This is an act of disregard on the human rights of the poor people. He also said that only the poor and the less privileged are paraded before the media while the rich suspects are treated with respect and dignity that this media trial has to come to an end and now the house of assembly of lagos state has taken it a step further by signing a bill and giving it to the governor hopefully babajide shanwolu will sign the bill into law and media trial in lagos state will become a thing of the past but like it's usually said in Nigeria, that everything that is good has a disadvantage. Some persons who have received justice in their case in Nigeria had that justice given to them because their cases were brought before the media, especially the social media. Now, there are cases of people who were unjustly arrested and were about to be persecuted. And when their cases came online on social media, People raised their voices, signed petitions, and the government had no other choice but to release such persons. Like they will always say, the fourth arm of the government is the social media in Nigeria. Now, people are beginning to express concern that if, the, uh, if, the, if they are to stop parading suspects before the media, that the police may become a little bit more, uh, you know, dubious in their dealings with people but first of all you do not know if your loved one or someone you know has been arrested for a particular thing somebody may have been arrested for something he or she did not do and because uh, nobody is aware of what is going on he or she will be given an unfair trials and we know that most times in nigeria court cases takes years to even uh to even receive a judgment for example mr femi falani has sued the police the efcc the attorney general of the federation in 2019 and that case is still to be held in court a court sitting has not been held for that case there are many people in police custody some of them have been transferred to prison facilities or correctional facilities as they are called and they have never gone to the court for one day for their cases to be heard most of them are innocent now people are saying that this media trial that is being done most times presenting their suspects before the media that advantage is that we get to hear what actually happened from the horse's mouth and then we can decide uh, some of them we cannot say oh this is being unfair and people raise their voices and join their voices to ensure that no justice is done but some other times it is also not fair because uh you see media houses quizzing the people that actually uh, media houses are not supposed to question suspects the main thing is the police says we have arrested uh the kidnapping for example we've arrested so so and so persons who are involved in uh, internet crime and you know just that's the end no questioning no um no quizzing of the suspects you know that's the job of the police but the Lagos state house of assembly is saying even when quizzing suspects suspects should not be beaten suspects should not be tortured they should not be given inhuman treatment they should be treated with you with you know respect to their human rights and dignity now do you agree with the Lagos state's government passing a bill to stop media parade or parading of suspects before the media do you agree that the social media is the fourth arm of the government in nigeria drop your thoughts and comment in the comment section welcome back thank you so much for staying with us till the end of this video 
But before we go, we just want to let you know that we're also on Facebook and on Instagram at DJMTV. Also check out our website at www.djmtv.news. There we drop news 247 non-stop. Do not forget that you could also place your advert with us here on DJMTV News and be rest assured that your business will get to the desired market. Well, so we'll come your way again with another edition of DJMTV Daily News Update. I remain your host, Lauru Fabo. Yeah! DJ TV.